was here in the spring. So we, we've been able to evaluate him, got a feel for what he can do. We just got to get him honed in on uh, the calls and uh, get him some work, really. I mean, that's a big thing. Thank you. No, still on top of Corey, too, you think? You get yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how Corey keeps progressing um, and um, see what happens over the next, you know, week. So how do you feel about the state of your secondary in terms of, uh, I know you had some guys you had to left, you know, bring jerseys and that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. but, you know, at this stage, what do you feel Well, I think, one, um, the whole focus is getting the guys ready to play for the first ball game and play the season. Um, we've had to move some guys around because of injury. Um, in some ways, that's okay because it, it creates, it, make, it forces guys to learn more than one thing, which is a good thing. Um, I thought our young guys were challenged last night a little bit and made some plays. And um, I see those guys getting better. You know, Shaq was able to come back and, and, and compete in, in the scrimmage, uh, which he wasn't able to do with the first one. So I thought that was important for him. You know, Langley's a guy that continues to improve. He's a very conscientious guy. And, um, you know, with our, with our secondary, you know, I expect Fluker to be back here relatively short, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Uh, of course, Trey practiced today. And then, um, you know, Josh is a guy that I've really been pleased with, with, with uh, Josh Clemens' work. I mean, I see him, you know, being an attention to detail kind of guy on what we're asking him to do. And I think that's through the maturity of, of um, him as a player. So um, we're not there yet, but we don't have to play yet. We just got to keep working. If we do that, I think we'll be fine. Some of also didn't, didn't get too many defensive snaps last year. I imagine with all the guys you have back there. Right. But, you know, he seems like he's one of the veterans you have there. Right. What, what do you envision? Well, Shel- Sheldon's a, a guy that was a really good special teams player for us. He's a fast guy. He's physical. He's got ball skills. So all of those things, um, you know, they're important to be in a corner. And um, as a corner, he'll come up and tackle. And, and, and that, that – that becomes a, a big thing too with quality running backs. Um, you know, we're just going to let all those guys compete, and um, you know, we're going to we're going to have a lineup, but that doesn't mean it's etched in stone. I mean, there's going to be a pencil that makes the lineup, and guys continue to to work and improve. The guys that produce are the, the ones that are going to be that are going to play, and um, if they continue to produce, they're going to play. If you know, if we need to make a change, we'll do it. Todd, who is who has stood out at inside linebacker beyond the Ramik and Amaro? Yeah, um, I think when you look inside, um, you know Reggie Carter's a guy that that came in mid year last year, and uh, he's really um, stepped up and, and done a nice job for us. I've uh, been pleased with him. Um, I thought Tim Kimbrough was doing a nice job before he got hurt. Uh, we'll just continue to work him and, and try to get him back here, you know, sooner than later, and, and see how he he progresses. Um, I'd have to say Reggie's the guy that's, you know, kind of stood out the most right now. But I, I was pleased with Kimbrough until he got um, injured. And then Johnny's a big physical guy that we're going to continue to work and develop. And I think all, all of those guys are going to play for Georgia at some time. Uh, Deloach is back playing now. Is, mm-hmm. is he getting a push from Floyd or is Deloach holding on pretty good there? Uh, we're always going to play guys that produce. So um, if you make plays in scrimmages and stuff, you know, uh, I think James has done a solid job for us. It was good to get him some work out there. Um, I think that the, the, the closer he gets to the game, he'll be able to get more use out of his hands. You know, right now it's clubbed up, and um, you know it's difficult to grab. But you know, really by the first game, that'll be a non-issue. Um, so he's just got to continue to work and develop. I've been pleased with his progress. Um, he's obviously going to have a role for us, uh, playing multiple things. And uh, we'll just have to see how that competition lays out. I think that competition is good because it makes everybody better. If you look at the scrimmage, what we're told about it, it seems like Floyd is a playmaker. Is, is, does Deloach have that capability as well? Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, um, I'm not sure about other stats they give you guys sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whether a guy was sacked or not. But anyway. Do you think um, I should have been a sack? Oh, who knows? <laughs> we'll never know. They take him down to the ground. <laughs> um, um, I think, I think that Leonard has shown flashes of being a playmaker. I think uh, James, you know, has the ability to do those things too. Um, it's nothing wrong with having more than one. Uh, we're going to find ways to get guys on the field. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll play with the best 11. You know, I'm not sure what that, that situation or role would be right now, but it's, it's, a good, it's a good issue to have, a good problem to have when those guys are competing. How much does 